First, I want to share some good news we just got from Milwaukee police. The officer is doing so well that he could be released from the hospital as early as this afternoon. That is certainly good news after what sounded like a very dire uh, prognosis last night. He was shot twice uh, in, the, in the vest, apparently, the chest and the stomach, and also in the shoulder in this altercation that took place right here. You can see some of the police tape still at the scene of where that shooting took place. We have video from last night as well as dozens of police officers descended on the scene here after that 26 year old Milwaukee police officer was shot as he checked on a person uh, that was uh, called in by someone who saw him slumped over in the car but when the officer got here uh, there was an exchange of gunfire the officer was injured as we said and so was that suspect who got in the squad car and took off and it's stealing it crashing a few blocks away into a uh, minivan there, injuring a person driving that minivan. And then that suspect, a 22-year-old man, uh, took off north on 17th Street there up towards Wisconsin Avenue on foot, where he was eventually arrested and taken into custody and treated at the hospital. Police continue to investigate, of course, everything today and try to determine what led up to this. We have learned, though, that that 22-year-old suspect was wanted at the time, was involved in a, a number of cases accusing him of stealing vehicles. There was also a charge related to drugs. And again, uh, warrants were issued for his arrest back in October. So certainly not someone that would have uh, wanted to have drawn attention to himself. Uh, the good news, as we said, that police officer is doing much better today. And we could have one of those release uh, situations at the hospital again that we've seen uh, twice before in just the last couple of weeks here with injured law enforcement officers thankfully being released from the hospital. Deanna, back.